Hello, can you guys hear me? Let's put some music on. Instead of fiddling around with the music volume in game, I've just done it in my streaming software this time. Should make it easier. This way I can't accidentally have the music too loud. Since I'll be playing different games, I might forget to change the audio if I do it in game. All right, it looks like people can hear me, so that's good. Anyway, uh, it seems like, uh, based on the comments, some people don't know what the EBF collection is. So they've obviously not been uh, following the news on my website and my social media. But I'm basically just re-releasing all of my old uh, browser games on Steam as one package. And they're getting a few updates, mostly uh, some quality of life features like volume controls. And uh, obviously all the all the copyrighted stuff is being removed, so a lot of the games are getting new music. And uh, some of them are actually getting completely new content as well, but, but there's not that much of that, so like, don't go into this expecting a lot of new stuff. It's mostly just slightly more polished versions of the existing games. So, uh, yeah, if you want to play those games again, then you'll, you'll have a pretty good reason to play them again, and you'll have them all in one place. And hopefully they won't have all the problems with, like, save games getting deleted and stuff like that anymore. So yeah, uh, you can't play Flash games in your browser anymore, but that doesn't mean you can't play them on your desktop or on Steam. So, no problem. Anyway, I'm starting off with Mecha Dress Up game, because uh, I know not everyone's here yet, so I figured I'd start with a kind of slow game. <laughs> I'll get to the more exciting stuff later. But yeah, th this uh, this soundtrack is new, by the way. This is done by uh, Forger something. Hold on. What's his What's his full username? Forger three four three. There we go. I can never remember the number at the end of that. So this soundtrack is it's remixes of Frina's music from EBF done by a new guy. And uh, Frina is doing the music for some of the other games, but not this one. There's two games that are being, uh, two games where the soundtrack is done by this guy, Forger343. And that's mostly because he already did this music in advance. Like, he's been a big EBF fan, so I figured I would just use this music he's already made because it's pretty good. Anyway, let's, oops, I just clicked the random button by accident there. Let's, let's nuke that. Uh, so, uh, I'll show you some of the new features in Mecha Dress Up game. This is a game I made an incredibly long time ago. I can't, I, I can't actually remember how long ago it was now. I think maybe like 12 years ago? Well, I was, uh, I was still in high school when I was starting to work on this. So yeah, 12 years ago then. And, uh, the, it's basically just a dress up game. It's a very old school type of game. But uh, what makes it different is the interface. You don't like select things from a menu for the most part, you just uh, click the parts on the mecha to change stuff. Which uh, means you can have secret stuff hidden that you don't really immediately notice. Like over here, you can see secret shoulder cannon. Or secret cannon down here, you know, you can just add extra stuff that's kind of hidden. So in some ways it's a, it's a bit more interesting than an average dress up game. There's a lot of hidden stuff to find. Some cool hats, as you can see. You can put a pig on his head. So uh, that was all in the original version. What's new is uh, I've redone the interface. I've tidied it up a bit because it used to all be kind of cluttered at the bottom here. So now the interface is basically the same, but it, the layout is much cleaner. There's a option to export a JPEG to your computer, which makes uh, screenshots a lot simpler for most people. Of course, you can also use print screen, or you can just use Steam's screenshot feature as well, whatever you prefer. But now you have lots of options for saving a picture. And uh, another new feature is you can right click now to go backwards through the items. That's pretty cool. It's something I wanted to add in the original game, but at the time this was made, Flash could not right click. You could only uh, left click. So now you can right click and left click to go backwards and forwards, and you can press uh, the middle mouse button to reset something. 
So the controls for this are a lot more convenient now. They've been improved a lot. In terms of uh, new uh, new content here, there's a few new uh, little animals you might notice. Uh, I, I've added a bunch of stuff from like other EBF games, like this is the Halo that I think Akron has. Or maybe it's this one. I think that's Zombie Goku's uh, Evil Magic Circle. So I added a few things from the other old EBF games to, to add a few new items, but there's not, there's not that many new items here, so don't get your hopes up too much. I mean, maybe if the EBF collection is popular, I might add more, but uh, we'll see. This is a game that I still kind of wouldn't mind working on because it's been a long time since I've done anything like this, so it's kind of fun. But the biggest new feature, and the feature that took the most amount of time, is uh, over here you can see you can change colors. So that's something I wanted to put into the original game, but I didn't really know the best way to do it, and I figured it would be a lot of work, so I kind of chickened out. And it turns out it really was a lot of work. You kind of have to, you have to specify on every single graphic which parts change colors which takes a long time to do. But uh, I think it was worth it, because you can get a lot of cool stuff now. And it it takes quite a lot of work, actually, to get a color scheme that looks good, though. It's not as easy as you would think. But uh, that's why I added these templates here. So if you're struggling to build anything that looks cool, you can just select a template, which includes colors as well. And you can basically start with these colors if you want to make your job easier. Anyway, I've been talking for a long time, so I'm going to read some comments real quick. Someone says they like the nuke button. Yeah, that's useful. It's a fun way of just starting again. Who, do who doesn't want to dress up black robots? Aha, well, they're not black anymore. Now you have colors. But uh, most of the colors are still quite metallic looking. They're not, they're not very natural looking colors. Red, as you can see, still looks really dark here. Pika Blue detected. Yeah, yeah, Pika Blue is actually in the game now. In EBF1, uh, the Pichu summon has been replaced with Pika Blue. I don't know if I'll show off EBF1 and 2 in this stream. I think I'll, I'll maybe do another stream for those games. I'm gonna show off the shorter, kind of simpler games in this one. And we've got 105 people watching, that's pretty good. I noticed there was a lot of people waiting for the stream to start, which is kind of funny. I've never seen uh, more than 50 people waiting for the stream to start. I think maybe, maybe a lot of people are actually interested, because the title was pretty vague. It didn't really tell you what was gonna be in the stream very well. Red Dust Skull looks sick. It's not Dust Skull, that's Dusk Mask. And this is Balrog. And this is Pika Blue. And this is a normal sheep. And that's a bacon. See, it's all uh, it's all very safe now. I can use these characters now. You have a question, why does Zombie Goku, well it's not Zombie Goku anymore, now it's Zombie Roku. Uh, why does he have blood and flesh inside of his hair? Because he's a monster and he's evil, that's why. Uh, let's see, uh, I skipped through a lot of comments because people have been posting a lot. I might have to scroll up. Nah, I'm not going to scroll up. It, it, if you had a question that I missed, you're just going to have to ask it again. Are these better versions of all the EBF games? Yeah, a little bit. They're not much different from the original. They, they just have a few extra options and a few changes. But for the most part, they're, they're going to play the same as, befo as before. How about releasing the games on mobile? Uh, I don't know. I don't really like mobile. I feel like uh, it's not really a high priority for me. But uh, it's possible. Uh, EBF 1 to 3 would have to be uh, reprogrammed because they're made in action scripts too. So they, they won't run on a phone at all. Whereas EBF 4 is just, it's the wrong like aspect ratio. It, it's really square instead of widescreen. 
So uh, it's possible to get those games on uh, on phones, but it would be a pain and a lot of work to do a good job. I mean, I could do a bad job really easily, but I don't really want to release a really quickly made port. Is Roku going to have a different design? Ah, uh, no. A zombie Roku looks exactly the same. How much will the EBF collection cost? It will be $8, probably. I'll see you later, but uh, that seems like a reasonable price. Oh, there's also new backgrounds in this game. Uh, yeah, I added more backgrounds from the EBF3 and other EBF games. And I actually added a few backgrounds from EBF5 because you can't really tell they're from a modern game. Uh, there, there's your uh, your sketchbook background and your uh, what's it called, snowflake battle background, and an orange version. Would a GIF feature be possible? Uh, like to export a GIF from this game? Uh, no, you would have to record it yourself. But if you want to create a GIF, there's a really good uh, free program for it. What's it called? Uh, I can't remember. It's like uh, screen to GIF, I think. I don't know if I have it installed right now, but I think it's, there's a pro program you can download for free called screen to GIF, which makes it really easy to create just a short GIF animation of anything that's on your screen. It's pretty easy to use. So I recommend just downloading that and then you can make a GIF of anything. Bring EBF5 to PS5? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm working on the uh, mobile ports of EBF5, but it's, it's not going to come to any consoles. Anyway, let's, uh, let's try to actually make a cool looking robot while I'm here. add EBF4 to mobile. Uh, I'd rather not. That's a it's a pretty old game and like I said it's it's not really designed for a, that aspect ratio. The game would need a lot of work to, to kind of work in a phone aspect ratio. I mean it, it can be done. I mean the easiest way would be to just add borders at the sides but I don't know. We'll see. First I need to I, I think I should start with EBF5 since that's the game people want the most. And if that does well on mobile, maybe I'll consider doing the other games as well. Make Praetorian, maybe. Ah, oh, you can make Praetorian in this. It's actually one of the achievements. But I, I don't remember from memory what he looks like, so I'm not going to make him right now.
Oh look, that's a new thing. I'll just leave that right there. Anyway, that's uh, that's my dress-up game. I don't think there's much else to show, unless you guys just want to watch me keep building stuff. Uh, I'll I'll change the music actually. There's four tracks in here, so it would be a shame to only show you one of them. Do I stream every day? Uh, no, only these last two days, pretty much. Have I decided what my next project is going to be? Uh, no, I don't have a next project. I'm just working on porting my games to other platforms. So right now that means getting all of my old Flash games onto Steam and then trying to get EBF5 onto Android. And if that works, then onto iOS as well. Could I add color, uh, color options to the backgrounds? Uh, I don't think that would be easy. Uh, you already have quite a lot of backgrounds to work with. I think the best backgrounds are the ones that don't really have much going on. The simple backgrounds that just kind of show off your robot nicely. That's what you want. What's my favorite game from the collection? Well, I don't really play them for fun. They're very old games. But uh, I think the one that was most fun to work on was maybe this one. I enjoyed adding color to this. I don't know why. It, it was just something that I really wanted to do a long time ago. Oh, there. There's one really relaxing track. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, for the achievements, the colors don't matter. Like, uh, you can make the robots in any color you want. I think it would be pretty hard otherwise. But that's not really specified, so people might try to make it the right color. But uh, all, all the robots you have to make, they're all gray anyway, so it's really easy. Just use the default colors, you know? Do I use flashpoints? Uh, not really, because I, I don't have any interest in playing every Flash game that's out there, you know, I can just download a few that I actually like. Like, I can just go through my Newgrounds favorites and just save those games. Totally not a uh, anime robot. Nope, definitely not. It's totally not a Gundam or Gundam, as they say it. There we go. That works. Can you show us Cat Cafe? Uh, I will later, yeah. It's uh, one of the less interesting games, I think, so I might show that one last. Anyway, uh, alright, yeah, there's one more, one more track to show you. 
This one's my favorite. I'll try to turn the volume up. It won't go very loud though, because I have it turned down in my uh, in my recording software. Anyway, I think it's time to start up the next game. So uh, let's let's go ahead and do that. I need to get the size right here. Just give me a second. Uh, that's, that's not quite it. Hold on. That'll do. Oh, I think this game is wider than widescreen. There we go. So uh, this game has a few minor changes, uh, it's got difficulty settings, so if you couldn't beat it before, now there's an easy mode. And the normal difficulty is also a bit easier than the old one. Uh, besides that, you've also got uh, some handy features that tell you how much time you have to react to every level. But uh, yeah, for anyone who hasn't played this before, this is just a quick draw game, you just press a button when you when you're told to. Very simple. Oh yeah, and the soundtrack is new as well. Forgot to mention that. It's a new soundtrack by Frina. I'm gonna let no legs win, just so you see what happens. So that's the kind of game this is. Oh yeah, another new option is you can skip more of the animations this time. So a lot of people complain that you can't save in this game, you just have to complete it in one go. But that's not really a problem because the game is so short. But now it's even shorter because you can skip most animations and pretty much beat the game in three minutes if you want to. Funny thing is, this game would be really easy to modify if you wanted to. You could just change the values for each character. So if you wanted, you could make no legs incredibly hard as a joke. But I consider doing any concept art drawing streams in the future. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. I feel like streaming while I work would just be distracting for me. Like, I think me doing a time-lapse video would be a lot easier. Because then I don't have to pay attention to what I'm doing that much, and I can just show it later, but sped up. Can I beat the game in three minutes? Oh yeah, if I skip the animations. See so yeah, at the top it shows you how many frames you have to react and how quick you did it. So that's a new feature and it's pretty useful. See 14 frames, that's how many I have, that's pretty slow. That was like half a second. And how fast did I actually do it? In 7 frames. After this I'll try a harder difficulty, we'll see how it goes. 
hard mode should be beatable, but uh, epic is really hard. Target time, 12 frames. Yeah, normal mode is pretty easy. Well, for me anyway. Something uh, I haven't added to this game yet, but I will, is when you finish it, I'm gonna make it show your average reaction time. Because that would be a pretty cool feature to show off. What I get for trying to read the chass instead of playing. That's okay, I will increase the difficulty now. That will totally improve my chances of winning. So now we're on hard mode. Oh, there's a lot of people watching. 159. Nice. Remember to like the stream! Or give it a dislike if you want, I don't care. I think my kind of consistent reaction time in this game is 7 frames which is uh, probably not enough to beat the final boss on hard. Definitely not on epic. So I might have to do better than seven frames. See, still getting seven. Messed up, man. Let's try that again. That was quick. So if I can't beat hard mode, I might have to turn it back down to normal. I forgot how quick no legs is. On normal mode, I have like a second to look at the chats, but on hard mode, nope. No legs is pretty hard on hard mode if you're not paying attention. It's so quick, what, what is going on? I'm gonna go back to normal. I'm so used to the old timing in this game. All The timings for each level are different now, so. If you were good at the original game, you're gonna have to relearn this one. That wasn't 40 frames. Is that 40 frames? I think something's wrong. That is way too fast. Let me check that one more time. I 
Yeah, the thing appears before the text even finishes. That's not supposed to happen. Something is uh, suspicious. I might have to look into that. It worked correctly there. It was just no legs that was acting weird. The rest of the game seems to be working correctly. I don't know why No Legs was attacking early. Maybe he was just cheating. My time was six frames. Okay, that's pretty good. How much do I need for the final boss? Eight frames, okay, I can do that. There we go. As you can see, this game has a very good story as well. That's the entire story right there. Alright, I'm gonna try hard now and see how it goes. I do wonder why No Legs is cheating though. Actually, real quick, I will show you two-player mode. Because this game has a two-player mode, and it always did, but I think a lot of people never realized. So you can play this with your friends. One person uh, uses the mouse, another person just uses the keyboard. So uh, I play this with Aranya and I win every time. So that's how you know it's, uh, it's completely skill-based. No way, it's not one person on mouse, it's enter and space. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm a dummy, I should actually read. 
But anyway, that's that's the multiplayer mode, so you can play that with your friends if you want to, and you can show off how fast your reaction times are. Anyway, I'm gonna try to play hard again and see how I go. But I need to remember that No Legs is cheesing for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, you can't play with your friends because you're not allowed to see your friends now because everyone has disease and everyone has the plague. So maybe wait until it's safe to have friends over. No legs didn't cheat that time, so I don't know what's up. Got 172 viewers. That's pretty good. I might reach 200. I think around 200 is the most I've ever had, so it's pretty cool to see that people are still watching my streams. Or at least they are when I'm streaming my own games. Yeah, yeah, you can play this game by clicking or by pressing space. I think that was always the case, it was just never made clear in the instructions. You want to share the link to the stream? Like, I don't see why not. So, uh, the, the people enforcing the rules on the Discord can be a bit picky sometimes, but it shouldn't be a problem to link to my stream. Oh yeah, all the characters that have been changed, they all have new names now. So I'll, I'll show you the credits in a second so you can see the names of all the characters. So far so good, uh, but the last three are gonna get hard. My time was eight frames, that's not very good man. I need to get like six or seven. Oh no! Alright, I'll give you a quick look at the credits. Over here you can see all the new names of the characters. Will you be able to play EBF 1 and 2? Uh, yeah, that's included in this collection. I mean, even if you don't buy the EBF collection, you can just save all the games to your desktop and just play the browser version offline. It's not a problem at all. Uh, the old version difficulty is not really comparable to this one because the old version it had uh, the, the times were pretty short, but they were not randomized So you could just memorize how long the delay was before you had to press space Now the delay is random, so you can't just memorize it And uh, to make up for that you get a little bit more time to react but uh, it, it, you can't you can't memorize each level now. Now you ac actually have to react really fast to win. I 
how many games are in the collection? Uh, it's hard to say, it depends what counts as a game. But there's eight main games, and then there's... No legs, you're attacking early again. He's cheating. Uh, there's uh, there's eight main games, there's a, a few kind of uh, uh, sketch collections of just, uh, just arts and stuff. And then there's also all the prototypes for my games as well, they're included too. So yeah, there's eight main games and then a lot of little things to look at as well after that. So especially if you're interested in collecting all the achievements, and there's 150 achievements in total, then you'll have a lot of stuff to do. I, I might just leave this in the game, no legs cheating, because it's kind of funny. But yeah, I, I reckon like uh, completing all the games in the EBF collection will take you about 10 hours if you do it on like the normal difficulty. But if you want to do it on a harder difficulty and get all the achievements, it'll probably take you 20 hours or more. So there's a decent amount of gameplay. Alright, well, I mentioned this on my website before, but everyone still still doesn't seem to know. So what's in the EBF collection is... Uh, hold on, I'll tell you after this. Epic Battle Fantasy 1, Epic ba Battle Fantasy 2, uh, Mecha Dress Up Game, Brawl Royale, uh, The Kissin Game, Cat Cafe, Bullis Heaven 1, and Adventure Story. Plus also Sketchbook, the Monster Book, and all of my prototype games as well. So there's bound to be some games in there that some people like, and then they probably won't like all of them. But that's okay. Yeah, I made the uh, mini games in EBF3 easier in the last update when I released it on Steam. Uh, all the mini games have slightly lower requirements now because a lot of people said they couldn't do them. They were the only achievements they couldn't do. All right, let's see if I can beat Natalie this time. There we go. She reacts really quickly, like, there's not much of a delay this in this one. Six frames. Okay, if I do six frames, I think that's enough to beat the boss. Maybe. We'll see. Seven frames for this guy. Alright, one more. Can I beat hard mode? to get lucky. No. Well, yeah, six frames is doable. It's a little bit lower than my average of seven. So if I did hard mode a few times, I would eventually get it. For, uh, for epic mode, I think uh, you need to get five frames. Which uh, is pretty tricky, because I don't think I've been that fast in any of them so far.
But yeah, uh, this game's pretty much ready to go. I just need to uh, make it show you your average reaction time at the end. And uh, I need to look into what No Legs is doing. But overall, I don't think it matters very much. If you just restart the game, he'll probably stop doing that. And I don't think I, I don't think anyone's gonna mind too much of No Legs cheats because it's pretty funny. All right, I think it's uh, I think it's time to move on to the next game. So let's put this away, and uh, let's let's boot up Cat Cafe. Oh no. Hold on. I can't stretch this game, so I'm gonna have to stretch it inside my software. There we go. That'll do. So, this is the most casual game I've ever made, and I've only released it on Android. And then, after a few months, or maybe a year or two, I don't remember, it got removed from the store because I never updated it. So now you can't really play it anywhere, except uh, soon on Steam. And it's not really a desktop game, it works much better on phones. Like, there, no one would really play a game like this on a computer. But it's here anyway, just, you know, just so that everything I've made is in here. And I've made the achievements for this game quite easy, because I don't want people grinding too long on it. So you should be able to get them all in about an hour. Which might be more than people want to spend on this game anyway, so we'll see. Maybe I'll make them easier. So what this is, is the most primitive type of game ever. You just give drinks to the cats. That's it, you, you've pretty much seen the whole game now. And it's uh, it basically just gets faster and faster over time, and then once once you can't serve the cats fast enough, you lose. But you collect money and you can buy upgrades, which uh, make the game a bit easier. You can make cats stay on screen longer, you can make cats give you more money, and uh, that kind of makes it interesting for a few for a few sessions, but it's not that interesting. It still gets boring really fast. I kept making the upgrades cost less and less when I was testing this because I could not be bothered playing this long enough to upgrade everything. So I just kept making everything faster and faster. But who knows, maybe some people will like this game. It's a, it's a fairly relaxing, idle game that you can play while listening to a podcast or something. If that's what you're into. Someone says, this gameplay is insane. Yeah, it's uh, insanely, mind-numbingly boring. But uh, yeah, I made this game as a little uh, practice mobile game, just to see if I can make something that works well on phones. And it does. It works. It's about as uh, kind of basic as you would expect from a casual mobile game. And I could totally like still re-release it on Android and, and iOS if I wanted to, I just... I just don't see the points. Maybe some people want the game to come back, but I don't know if I can be bothered. I don't know if my, my Android account, my developer account still works. I might need to make a new one. But I'm gonna have to do that anyway for, uh, for releasing EBF5. The game's getting a bit faster now. <laughs> Oops, I missed one. 
say I, uh, hold on. Oops. Yeah, game's pretty much over. If I miss one more, then it's, it's game over. Oops. That's what happens when you give cats the wrong drink. See, just smack them in the face. There's actually an achievement for uh, just hitting lots of cats. You have to hit, uh, I think it was 125 cats in the face in one match. So I could try doing that. Look, you can buy upgrades. Scarves and sunglasses and all that stuff. Makes the cats more, uh, more wealthy. So if you get a wealthy cat that's wearing a lot of clothes, he gives you more money for your drink. That makes no sense. But uh, that's how the upgrade system works. But now I'll show you how to get the achievement for hitting the cats in the face. There's the first one, punching bags times one. But if you keep doing it, you get more. See, you want to keep giving the cats the wrong drink, but in the end you have to give them the right drink so that you don't uh, trigger a game over. So you just smack the cat a few times and then you give them the correct drink afterwards. I think I'm almost there. A few more hits should do it. got the achievement and a lot of money. Apparently you get $20,000 for beating up cats. So I can buy a multiplier, which, uh, well, as I play the game, the cats give me more and more money. I can uh, get fat cats, which also gives me more money. Happy hour power makes happy hour last longer, which is a kind of easy bonus round that just helps you raise your multiplier. Pretty much. Cats are friendlier. And that's pretty much the whole game. There's, okay, there's a dress up mode. I can show you that. Look, you can dress up your cats. So exciting, right? And you can create a screenshot and you can use that as your your picture on Twitter or Facebook or whatever if for some reason you want to pretend to be a cat. The cats are pretty scruffy looking. I mean they, they were okay looking at the time but I like the way I draw cats in EBF5 a lot more now. This is kind of the EBF4 style almost. There we go, that makes sense. Drinking too much energy drink will do this to you. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and you can also just create random cats. And that's, that's all there is to this game, pretty much. But, uh, you can get like 10 minutes of fun worth of it, out of it if you want. Or if you really want those achievements, you can play it for about an hour. Alright, so what's next? What have I got left? I'm getting through these games really quick. Next up is the Kitten game, which is the exact opposite of this game. Hold on, where is it? This game was, uh, I think, my least successful game ever. Like, not many people played this because it was a bit too hard. And uh, it gave you wrist injuries because you have to click really fast. It also gave you ear injuries because the audio was awful, like the sound effects were way too loud and I just did not balance them very well. So a lot of that stuff has been uh, addressed in this re-release. The sound effect audio is much more pleasant now and uh, if you want to lower it further you easily can, there's volume controls now. And the, the most useful feature is that you have an auto clicker enabled by default now. So you don't have to click like a madman anymore. The game clicks automatically for you. And it, it's not like incredibly fast. It's like reasonably a reasonable speed of clicking. So it's not like that much cheating really. Because uh, it doesn't make the game that much easier. It just makes it less painful to play. So yeah, that's uh, the clicking fixed, the audio fixed, and the game's a lot more playable now. Besides that, uh, the menus have been improved a little bit. Like, uh, it's easier to exit a level if you select the wrong level now. Stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, the game's been made a little bit more user-friendly. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty much the same as before. And for anyone who hasn't ever heard of this game before, then uh, I'll, I'll show you what it's about. Level 1. You have 30 seconds. Get 30 points. Click the cats to make them die. Alright, so uh, I'll show you how this game is played. See, it's a, it's a cats clicking game. Just gotta kill cats, as you do. Oh yeah, and the soundtrack is completely new by Frina. Well, it's not new songs, it's songs that she's made a long time ago, but I'm using them for the first time in this game. Hold on for a second, I forgot to increase quality to high. There we go. Oh, I also optimized the game a bit so it runs a bit better than it used to. Which is not a big deal, but it's something that I, I felt was necessary because when you select the level, sometimes it felt like the game was about to crash because it took so long to load it. Now all the levels load pretty much immediately from the level select screen. Alright, let's continue. Level 2. Try to get several points for one cat. Click the head, then the body. See, it's not enough to explode the cat's head. You have to explode the body afterwards to get more points because of course you do but uh as you're watching me now you can probably realize how painful this game was to play before the auto clicker was added because look how many times i would have to click i'd have to click like a hundred times or more every level in 30 seconds so it just gives you wrist injuries the old way so unless you're a really good clicker you should just leave auto clicker on for the whole game this way, it's it's really relaxing just to play this. Look, secret cats. I quite like the amount of detail I put into this game. Like, there's so much hidden stuff. Like, even on, every menu screen is different. 
every time you finish a level, there's like new secrets behind the bricks. Like there's just so much hidden stuff in this game. Oops, I went to exit by accident. All right, level three, bushes are fun. See, you can probably uh, recognize this guy. He used to be a Bonsley, but now he has one eye, so he's not a Bonsley anymore. But uh, yeah, you can destroy uh, scenery to get a clear shot of the cats, so that's fun. That's pretty important in some levels, especially this one. You gotta find out which area spawns the most cats, and then you have to make a hole in the wall, and then you gotta start killing. But yeah, for anyone curious about how the auto clicker works, it's uh, you basically have to hover over a cat for four frames, which is about uh, something. It's not that long. It feels pretty quick. For some objects, it's a bit quicker than four frames. You can get points for clicking the cat's tails, but it's not easy to do that. So it's, it's not really worth trying, unless you hit it by accident. Yeah, in many ways I think this is actually the stupidest game I've ever made. It's just so stupid that it's hilarious. And you'll see why, like, later on. The levels get more and more ridiculous in this game. People are begging me to end the game. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna end the game. I'm gonna play through the whole thing. So I guess you have to watch cats suffer for half an hour. See, these cats are trying to kill themselves anyway. You just have to kill them first. Because that makes total sense. You have to save the cats from jumping into the fire by killing them. Oh, I got a silver. Oh well. I'm probably not going to try to get gold on every level in this game, because some people might get bored. Oh yeah, this music is great. Frina really wanted me to use this. I didn't think I would have uh, any games that worked well with Frina's silly, uh, silly tracks. But then I realized, hey, I can just add them to this game and they work just fine. But yeah, I mean, if you guys want to get every achievement in the EBF collection, you're going to have to finish this game and get gold in every level as well. It's not that hard though, but you know, if you want all the achievements, you gotta kill all the cats. But I think playing Cat Cafe for an hour is more torture than this game, to be honest. Like, I, I really struggled to play Cat Cafe for an hour when I was testing it, it was just that boring.
Yeah, I'm just putting the cats out of their misery, you know? It, it, it's probably better for them this way. Because, you know, they're suffering so much. Just look at them. Do these look like happy cats to you? Not really. Oh yeah, sunglasses protect the cat's faces. So, uh, try not to aim for the sunglasses, huh? The real skill in this game kind of just comes from figuring out where the most efficient place to kill cats is. So, like, the first few times you play the game, you'll be wasting your time, like, trying to get the tiny cats in the background or something, and then you'll realize Wait, I just have to get this cluster of cats here in the front. Because they always respawn in roughly the same area. So you just gotta find the most efficient spot. It's like farming in an MMORPG. You just gotta find the place where the enemies spawn the fastest. And just keep killing them there. Imagine having pro strats for this game. Or pro stats. But uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's going to be leaderboards in the EBF collection. So whoever has the highest score in this game will get a place on the leaderboard. So that might be nice. They're not innocent cats, they're evil. And they're also suffering, so we're doing them a favor. Look, Arctic cats. These cats, they're stuck in the sea, they're stuck on icebergs. They can't get home, they're just floating in the sea forever. You're doing them a favor by putting them out of their misery. Like, cats don't live in the Arctic, they don't want to be here. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to stream after this game, because the four games I wanted to show, I've already showed, and they're all pretty short. Cat Cafe, Brawl Royale, Mecha Dress-Up Game, and this. They're, they're not very long games. This is the longest one, but I'm not going to show people me getting every achievement, because that might be kind of boring. I mean, I guess afterwards I could stream EBF1, maybe. But not, not on hard mode. Probably on normal. Because I don't want to risk losing and having to start again.
Uh, someone's asking, what do I think that my favorite best game I've ever made is? It's probably this one, actually. This is probably the best game I've ever made. I don't think anything else I've made comes anywhere close to, to the kitten game. Like, nothing's as deep and meaningful as killing hundreds and thousands of cats, putting them out of their misery. It's uh, it's quite actually a, a deep philosophical uh, game. Like, it kind of explores these dark themes that no one wants to talk about, but they're always there, lingering in the background, at the back of everyone's minds. Everyone's secretly asking themselves, should I kill all the cats? And this game explores that dark, hidden thought. So I think this is the most important game I've ever made, actually. So everyone should play this, and they should get all the achievements. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm charging way too little for this game. I think the Kissin game should be on sale for $100 at least. But you're getting a bargain. It's only $8 as part of the EBF collection. Oh yeah, the music's really catchy in this game, by the way. So you should play it just for the music, if for nothing else. Oh yeah, and all the music in the EBF collection will also be available probably for free. The, the whole soundtrack. I don't know, maybe I'll put a small price tag on it, I'm not sure yet. But most of the music's already uh, freely available on Frenna's Newgrounds page. So, uh, I don't know. It'll, it'll either be free or very cheap. Oh, here things get a little bit harder because now I have to not click on the Pokemon. Or, no, oh, they're not Pokemon, they're random cloud monsters. Oops. I accidentally killed something that wasn't a cat. See, these cats are already killing each other. So I'm doing them a favor and making their battlefield deaths uh, quick and painless. Are EBF 1 and 2 ready? Yeah, yeah, I, I might stream them today. I think I've got time.
But that means if I stream all the games today, I won't have anything to stream next time. Maybe I'll have to stream something that's not in the EBF collection. Maybe Bullet Heaven 2. But yeah, eventually I'm sure I'll get around to streaming all of my games. But for now I'd rather promote what I'm actually working on. For the record, this game has about 30 levels, so I am getting close to the end already. It's a pretty quick game if you've played it before, but if you haven't, then it, it takes a little bit to learn how to play it the most effectively. But even if you're not very good at this game, you should be able to beat the levels with a bronze medal quite easily. It's only that only getting a gold is quite tricky. But that's how uh, this video is basically a walkthrough for anyone who's struggling to get gold medals, so you can see how I'm doing it. And if you really want to cheat, I'm sure you could get a faster auto-clicker from somewhere. I know there's uh, there's tools that let you do auto-clicking, but I've never used them before because I don't need to cheat in any games. But if you want to cheat, I'm sure it's easy to do. Yeah, I'm killing dead cats. Because uh, they came back to life and they're suffering, you know? They, they want to rest in peace, but, you know, they, they just keep coming back to life. So I gotta double kill them and make sure they stay dead. In these later levels, you want to destroy the gravestones as soon as possible because the gravestones release ghosts. And those ghosts keep respawning once they've appeared. So destroy the gravestones and that makes the rest of the level much easier. And the best way to get lots of points is to just wait until all the ghosts are overlapping each other and then aim for that area. Makes it so much faster. Uh, based on the sound effects in this level, I think you can imagine how painful that was to listen to in the original version. The sound effects are, they're less than half of their original volume now. So that used to be really painful, all that screaming. Oh, I got gold. I thought I didn't do too well in that one, but uh, okay, that's the last level done, but there's some secret levels too. So since we've got pretty high scores, we've got two extra levels to play. You guys uh, might recognize this from somewhere. Old internet meme.
I pretty I, I really like how this level turned out. I wish I did more uh, kind of paper cutout levels like this. That would have made for a fun game where it's just like uh, drawings from your sketchbook coming to life. But uh, this is not the only time I've played with this idea and you might have noticed that in EBF5 as well, if you got the Steam version. Uh, so besides that, there's also a dress-up game, because there's always a dress-up game. See? It's a cat. So if you don't want to kill the cats, you can uh, just do a dress-up game like this. There we go. I think that's a pretty good cat. Oh, he's got a fish. He's happy now. Okay, 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 let's see, uh, let's, let's restart this. Let's make a nicer cat. Okay, let's do it. Oh, there you go. Is that a nice cat? There you go, it's cat heaven. There, happy, happy cats. see there's a uh, you can see your high scores and uh, a new feature I've added here is I added my best score at the bottom here also Rania's best score uh, I'm gonna add Frina's score if she has one I don't know if she's actually gonna play the whole game so we'll see if you want Frina's score listed here so that you can try to beat it you'll have to go tell her to play the game but maybe she just doesn't want to kill so many cats. Uh, there's an arts gallery, but uh, I won't spoil that for you guys. You guys can look at that later if you want to. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the whole game. That's all there is to it. I think it's a pretty cool game, but a lot of people seem to disagree for some reason. I'm not sure why. I, I can't imagine why anyone wouldn't want to play a game about killing cats. But oh well, that's the kitten game, my probably least successful game ever. Hopefully it's a bit more accessible now and more people play it, because I think it's a really funny game. 
All right, so I think I'm going to play EBF1 now. EBF1 also has a big change. It's got a new soundtrack. But uh, I think that's the only thing, really. A lot of the characters have been uh, replaced with lookalikes as well to avoid copyright infringements. But those two things are pretty much the only changes. Hold on. Can I make it fit perfectly? I think that works. There we go. All right, so uh, credits. The music here was not done by Frina. It was done by Forager343. He actually uh, made this soundtrack in advance. It was like a fan-made soundtrack for EBF1. And uh, it just so happened I, shortly afterwards, needed a soundtrack. So I asked him if I could use it. So that worked out pretty well for me. The soundtrack was basically done for me before I started work on the re-release. So, uh, yeah, new soundtrack to listen to. That's something. Oh, this menu music, by the way, this is not final. This one's going to be changed. Uh, he, he made a new new track for the main menu, but I haven't put it in the game yet. Anyway, uh, let's get started. I'm just going to play on normal. Uh, I added a new difficulty, zero difficulty, for anyone who just wants to speed through the game and not have any challenge at all. But I'm just going to go at normal. Seems reasonable enough. This game is not very nice to newcomers. You don't really know what items you need to buy. But the most important thing is ethers and water of life's because if you run out of mp and you run out of water of life then you're probably gonna have a game over So for the most part, I have not made this game any easier. It's still really cryptic and challenging. Mostly because I just wanted people to remember how bad the first game was. And how old RPGs used to be really cryptic and hard to figure out. Like uh, nowadays, like getting uh, like the weakness for enemies is usually really easy. But back in the old days, you usually had to use a turn to get the enemy weakness, and you got a chance to look at it, and then never again, you know? So you had to, you had to use your turn, and then you had to remember what the weakness was afterwards. So, uh, and, and uh, I remember, I think it was in Final Fantasy III for the NES, there was only one class that could actually tell you what the enemy's weakness was. So it was a really... Uh, a really rare skill, which is now pretty common in games today. So likewise, in this game, uh, the only way you're going to figure out what the enemy's weakness is by, is by just seeing what does the most damage. Or using a walkthrough, if you're, uh, if you're lazy, but that makes sense. Oh yeah, just like in old games, you also can't see the enemy's life bar. I remember in the old Final Fantasy games, you just have to keep hitting bosses and then they suddenly die. You have like no idea how much health they have left unless you use a turn to figure out. 
So here, you can actually see the life bar, but only for a moment. It goes away pretty fast. And you never see the exact numbers either. Hey, there's almost 200 people watching again. Nice. Maybe I just had to stop killing cats. Well, since you're all here, uh, I'll remind you to uh, give me a thumbs up. And I'm here shilling my latest game, which is the EBF collection. I'm releasing all of my old browser games on Steam, so they will be preserved there forever. And uh, they've got a few new features, but not too many. It's not, it's, they're not being remade, they're just being re-released with a couple of features to make them a bit more playable, like volume controls and more difficulty options, stuff like that. But uh, a few games are getting some substantial new content, like Bullet Heaven and Adventure Story. But I'm not showing those games off in this stream. But anyway, all, all of the games will still be available uh, otherwise, like you can just go on Newgrounds and download the old version if you want to play that. Like, you don't have to pay to buy these on Steam if you really don't want to. You can just go play the old version as well. Even on normal mode, you can easily get a game over if you're not careful here. If you forget to heal, then uh, you can still die pretty easily. Assuming Steam lasts forever? Well, it doesn't matter if Steam is around or not, because uh, my, my games on Steam are DRM-free. So if you have a copy downloaded, that will last forever, as long as you back it up somewhere. You can write it onto a CD or something if you want. But uh, That's true for EBF5, EBF3, and the EBF collection. Uh, at the moment, EBF4 and Bullets Heaven 2 do have DRM but I will update them at some point so they don't have it. Though uh, there is a DRM free version of EBF4 upon itch.io, so that's backed up over there. But yeah, I mean, even if Steam's not around anymore, as long as someone has a copy of the game, then they can easily share that with everyone else. Hold on, since I'm playing on normal, I can probably uh, use a more dangerous weapon here. Something that does more damage, but is a bit more risky to use. Someone's stuck at work and has to have the stream muted. Well, that sucks, because my commentary is the best thing about the stream. Because you can watch anyone play these games, but you can only get me talking about them. Like, only I know what I'm working on and how the game was made and all that, so you're missing out, I guess. Isn't Beholder copyrighted? I don't know why it would be, it's in a lot of 
fantasy games. It's been around for a long time. beats another boss but there's there's no time to take a break the game just keeps going Uh, my last name is Polish, as you can probably guess. Oh yeah, I can't change turn order in this game. That's mildly annoying. How much damage does Eruption do? Almost 20,000. Not bad. Still not enough to kill the tree in one hit, though. Maybe it's time to use some buffs. Final Fat, oops. That was an accident. Final Fantasy 1 couldn't use Beholders. That's weird, because a lot of games did have them. Heroes of Might and Magic uh, 3 had Beholders. I'm sure there was other games as well. But yeah, this, this game has not changed very much. It still plays pretty much the same as the original version did. There's a, a few more uh, tips in the beginning about how to play, though. So hopefully it's a little bit more accessible. Oops, I did not mean to defend. Uh, I believe Thunder and Bomb work the best against this guy. Ouch. I don't have any swords that help with airstrike, do I? Oh well, let's go with the magic attack sword. Uh oh. No more MP for Natalie. Wait, I think I get MP back after this fight, actually. Because then there's uh, another shop. But I might be wrong about that. Maybe MP doesn't come back.
Having my magic buffed didn't make Airstrike any stronger. That sucks. I'm not sure how else I could do more damage to this guy. Hand bombs. Oh, that was pretty good actually. Too bad I didn't buy very many. Uh, someone's asking, is the EBF5 story canon to EBF2, 3, and 4? Well, that's up to you to decide. Like, I don't I don't really care what the canon is. The, the story's not really that important in the games. Or, not to me, you know. I kind of just tack the story in at the end once the gameplay is done. Pretty much how Zelda does it, really. Like, everyone's all debating the Zelda canon and trying to figure out how all the games are tied together, when in reality I don't think the developers actually care very much. Like, they just do the gameplay first, and then the story is always basically the same and not that important. Time for a break. It's not a checkpoint though, it's just the time to buy some more items. If you die, you go all the way back to the beginning. Though, uh, that's something I might change if enough people complain. Gonna buy more bonds this time. I um uh, I think Quake is good against crabs. I 
I didn't waste my money on bombs. Bombs are very good. Plus, I'm playing on a, a normal, so I don't have to min-max the game so hard. Someone in the chat is just spamming, what is Matt's true gender? Well, I think that's pretty obvious if you've played any of the games that actually have dialogue. I guess maybe it's not obvious in the first game, but any game after that it should be pretty obvious. I think the chats is just messing with that guy. Oh look, who is this? Uh, I believe that's Meta Ice? Definitely not a Pokemon. Totally in no way a Pokemon. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. let's go back to the Fire Sword. Nice. Too bad Nasali can't attack right now. Well, I guess she can use Genesis. Or Judgment, rather. But she does need to get some HP back. Oh, that reminds me, I never showed up, uh, I never showed off the new summons. Maybe that's something I can do in a second. Oh, he your bombs are useful, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Alright, let's, uh, let's try a summon. Let's summon TV Boy. That was kind of weak. Let's just keep throwing bombs. Yeah, one bomb does more damage than TV Boy does. Well, where's their defense? Okay. Look at this guy. Totally not a Pokemon in any way whatsoever.
Wow, very little damage from fire. Oh, I should have been using airstrike. Okay, double team. Let's see. Well, I should probably take out uh the ice one first. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, temper, yeah, temper is what I wanted. That's a lot of damage. Nice. Oh yeah, something I considered adding to this game was a game speed option, which might be possible. It, it, I did it in EBF3, so it should work here as well. But uh, you'll need a fast computer to speed it up. But that should be okay in, in this day and age. Like computers now are a bit faster than they used to be when I made this game. But that's something that will uh, it will need the launcher to activate. The game on its own can't change the frame rates. It would need to be uh, done externally from the launcher. But yeah, that's a, that's a feature I might add later. We'll see. I don't know if it's that important. It's, it's not that long of a game. So, uh, no promises. Yeah, I, I plan to play this game to the end, and if I have time, maybe I'll play EBF2 afterwards. <laughs> yeah, the, the chat's acting kind of funny. People still arguing about genders for some reason. Okay, finally dead. He had way too much HP. That was boring. Let's move on. Well, I mean, okay, it's boring because I'm playing on normal. Let's see. I do not remember what these guys are weak against at all. I think I'll just play it defensively for now, though. So, Stone Edge it is. Okay, 
Hey, Balrog actually brought a useful item. Nice. Uh, are they weak against ice, maybe? No, 8,000 damage, just not so good. Okay, I'll show you Pika Blue. That was not very good. And that was not very useful. Poison healed. Bomb, Ice, and Thunder? Okay, well, they didn't take that much damage from Thunder and Ice. But I guess, uh, I guess Bomb's the way to go. the last summon. Hopefully it doesn't wipe me out. Oh, nice damage. That was actually worth using for for once. Usually it's just really dangerous. All right, let's see. Uh, in EBF 5, the sound effects were kind of juicy and pleasant to hear. Because uh, I, I put more time and effort into finding just like really high quality sound effects for that game. And uh, I think just before I started working on EBF 5, I bought really expensive headphones. So I could really hear the difference much better. So I, I just spent more time picking good sound effects for that game. And I think it paid off. The sound is much better than my previous games. All right, here's what I bought the bombs for, so I'm gonna start using them. The sword clipped through Matt's neck. Yep, it does that. That's, uh, that's animation for ya. Not really a huge amount of strategy in this game. You don't really have that many options. You can't even change your character turn order. So uh, it's a bit basic, but that is pretty much how the old turn-based RPGs were like. The first Final Fantasy game didn't really have a lot of strategy either. die already 
So much HP. I need to make sure I don't run out of ether, because that would be a problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> Even normal mode is quite hard in this game. If you don't use buffs, you're still going to have a really bad time. Isn't there a shop after this fight? Ha <laughs> ha you wish. If only the game was so nice. Yeah, epic mode is near impossible if you don't uh, play the game perfectly. But, you know, if you follow a walkthrough, then it should be straightforward enough. How does Quake do? Oh, Quake does a reasonable amount of damage. Uh-oh. Hold on, I'm gonna... There's no way for Mass to heal Natalie, which really sucks. just barely died. It's a shame though because she would have absorbed some MP from that if she survived. Oh yeah, the nice thing about this game is that uh, your characters keep their buffs after they're revived, which is pretty handy. That's not true for the other EBF games. I want Natalie to steal some MP, but it's not working. <laughs> yep, not working at all. Alright, last area. Oh no, it's the debuffing ghosts. I hate these guys. Oh, that's a lot of MP, wow. I don't think these guys actually have any uh, magic attacks that Nathalie can absorb. Maybe poison, but I don't think they're very likely to actually use that. So I might just have to use an ether. Oh, 
that's not nice. Uh, I'm starting to think I'm not going to have time to play EBF2 today. Because there's somewhere I have to be in less than one hour, so that would not be enough time to play all the way through EBF2. So I might have to save that for another stream. But there's some other things I can show you before I go. I think uh, if I played EBF1 on Epic, I might actually struggle to beat it, to be honest. It might take me a few tries to remember what the best strategy is. I have to be very ready for the boss when I finish off these ghosts. Oh no, that's the wrong weapon. Oops. I meant to get the MP draining one. Oh, I'm not actually died. Oops. Yeah, we'll see. Once once the EBF collection comes out on Steam, if people really think that EBF1 is too hard, then maybe I'll make it easier or add that checkpoint. Or, to be honest, maybe I should just add the checkpoints. Might be a good idea. Or even add more than one. See, I don't have to add a saving system, because that would be a bit of work. But adding a checkpoint so that as long as you're, you don't close the game, you can try again. That might be a, an okay idea. Can I, can I remake EBF 1 and 2? Why would I? They have sequels. You can go play that instead. And if I did remake it, what exactly do you think would be different? It, it would be exactly the same game, because the art style wouldn't change very much. Anyway, I think I'm probably about as ready as I'm going to be for that final boss.
right, here we go. Oh no. Do I need antidote for this? I can't remember. I think I need antidotes. Poison me. I guess adding checkpoints wouldn't really make the game that much easier, because if you bought the wrong items in the shop, you'd still have to start from the beginning. And so, I think maybe that is something I should do after all. Oh yeah, Purify is probably still available, even when sealed. I should have checked for that first. Seven, 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 seven. Nice. Oh, debuffed. Oops. Forgot about that. Oh, that's my last ether? Really? Well, that's what I get for wasting my MP on the summons. He's still got half his HP left. Hmm. That was not as much healing as I wanted. Wait, Purify only affects one person? Oh, that is lame. That is annoying. Oh, great. Uh, well, I have magic defense up, so that's good. And uh, Natalie will get some MP back if she survives, but she might not. Okay, she's fine. No, she's not. But she still got the MP, so that's all that matters. Uh, 
Oh, again? Okay. Well, this is taking some time, isn't it? Uh, what's the song from Power Metal? Uh, I don't remember the name. It's in the credits, though. It's always in the credits. Stop using the same attack. Hmm. Oh, that was pretty close. Very close. Thanks, Balrog. Wasn't paying attention there, but I think he just summoned another uh, another Spurious bomb. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to understand now. I think this game might be a bit too hard. I'll use my last hand bomb. Just die already. Wrong character. That would have been pretty useful on the other guy. I have no ethers left. No. I need to I need to change sword. Oh great, now I got MP. Wow. Oops. I 
Ouch. Okay. <laughs> How much water of life do I have left? Okay, three. Okay, that's fine. So far, so good. But yeah, this game's tough. Well, uh, maybe I should... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna add those checkpoints now. Probably one after every boss, to be honest. Do I like Megami Tensei? I've never played that, so I have no idea. Oh, he's almost dead. Okay, let's finish him off. All right, if he doesn't die now, then I'm in trouble. There we go. That was pretty tough for normal mode. And that's EBF1. How long did that take me to beat? I think it was over an hour. <sighs> Why is there a more stuff button? Huh. Let's try... I, I forgot to get rid of that link. That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be replaced with exit game. Hold on. Let's add some notes. some stuff down okay so uh, what else do I have to show in this stream let's see I don't have time to play EBF 2 so uh, well you guys have already hold on uh, I'll load up the sketchbook let's see So, the sketchbook, it's not a game, but it's still included in the EBF collection because it's something I published on Newgrounds. Hold on, let me get that right. There we go. So, oh, it's not centering very well. Okay, that works. So, this is just a collection of drawings. It's like an interactive arts gallery, pretty much. And uh, I added new music by Frenna. So... That's pretty good. I actually really like this track, to be honest. I'm, I'm actually going to turn the audio up a little bit for this. Because uh, it's a fairly quiet song. So, a lot of people probably never saw this. Because it was only published on Newgrounds. And all it is is just a collection of all of my old sketches. And uh, there's quite a lot of stuff in here. It goes back many years. Uh, someone's asking again, how much is the EBF collection going to be on Steam? It's going to be $8, probably. I haven't really decided, but I think that's a reasonable number. And it, it, there's also probably going to be a, a small discount 
when it's launched. So you'll probably pay even less than that. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to show you the whole, uh, whole, the whole sketchbook because that's something you can look at later. But uh, there's a lot more drawings now in here than there were in the original version. Uh, I think there's almost twice as many because I've added a lot more since I originally published this. And I also added this, uh, these buttons to kind of skip through the chapters. So you've got Cats, Epic Battle Fantasy 3, EBF 4, Bullet Heaven. So all the categories are here. You can just skip through them really fast. And uh, it goes way back. Even uh, watercolor paintings are in here. So uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to look at old concept art and like the history of stuff that I drew, then this should be a lot of fun. Uh, similarly, I also have uh, the monster book in this collection, which is basically the same thing, but for even older drawings. Hold on, uh, let's put this in the middle. So it's another sketchbook, but it's stuff I drew when I was like eight years old. So this one is, uh, the, the drawings aren't very good. You're, you're not gonna look through this for, uh, for good artwork. You're just gonna kind of, I don't know. If, if you're interested in what kind of weird stuff kids draw, then that's what this is pretty much. This was also only published on Newgrounds and on my website. So uh, it's a pretty small project, which I thought I would just include for fun. But uh, once again, this also has some new pages I added, which uh, were done quite recently. So the last few pages at the end have slightly better artwork than the rest. So that's something some people might enjoy looking at. But if not, you don't have to. There's, there's no achievements or anything in this. So it's, it's just a little extra added to the collection for more history lessons. But there's also... Uh, all the prototypes are in here too. Hold on. The EBF 5 prototype map system is here. This, uh, these levels are not in the final game, so if you want to mess around and, uh, and see how the map system was originally tested, then you can do that here. There's actually a bit of gameplay in here. It takes uh, like 20 minutes to get through this, so it, it's kind of a mini game in its own right. Uh, and same, there's also uh, the map system for the other games here as well. There's EBF3. This one does not have that much content in it, but it kind of shows you what uh, EBF3 looked like really early on. And uh, let me tell you, it did not look very good. I think the final version looks a lot better. Uh, but yeah, that kind of prototype stuff's in here. There's, uh, how many is there? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of prototypes and uh, there's even uh, there's even wackier stuff that's even, uh, it's not even included like in the launcher. There's like stuff that's so small that it's not worth including in the launcher. So it's just in the installation folder. You can find more Swift files to open up if you want to browse them. So there's stuff like, uh, like this, hold on. Random cats. So yeah, just random stuff like this is added in the installation folder just because I made this at some point. It's completely pointless, but it's in there. Just I'm just putting all of my old flash work in here. Now uh, let's find another one. Look, it's no legs. That uh, is, uh, it's just a performance test. I think that was when I was working on Bullet Heaven 2, trying to see how many graphics I can get on screen. It worked out pretty nicely. But yeah, that's the kind of garbage you'll find in the Easter eggs folder.
if you browse through the files for this. <sighs> but uh, okay, that's that's been two and a half hours of streaming now. I think uh, I think I've showed everyone everything I wanted to show, even a bit more actually. I wasn't planning to play through EBF one. I was going to save that for next time. But uh, what I'll do next time is I'll play through EBF two, and uh, I don't know what else. Adventure story is not ready yet. That still needs a little bit of work. But uh, yeah, just playing through EBF2 will take uh, take a while. So that's probably going to be the next stream. But yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's in the EBF collection. So for everyone who missed it earlier, it's EBF1, EBF2, Adventure Story, Bull is Heaven, The Kitten Game, Brawl Royale, Cat Cafe, Mecha Dress Up, uh, a bunch of sketchbooks, and a bunch of prototype games. So there's a lot of random crap in there. There's going to be a lot of Steam achievements. So if you've got some spare time, it's worth completing every game. So I think it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be a nice little package for anyone who likes playing old games. But it's not really aimed at new players at all. It's, it's just like a collection of old stuff. And I'm not going to be like trying to sell it to people who aren't already familiar with the games. Because they're probably not going to be very impressed by my old work. They should just play the newer stuff instead. So, um, so that's that, I guess. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go play some Age of Empires.